Excellent. A very good morning from Chinese University of Hong Kong, the CHK Business School. It's a beautiful Saturday morning and everyone is here for a reason and purpose in trying to understand what are some of the options available for you in terms of business education. And on our side, we are all enthusiastic in presenting to you what are some of the options available and how we can help you unleash your potential when you come to CHK Business School. So once again, uh, a humble introduction. My name is John Line. I'm one of the assistant dean here at the CHK Business School for the undergrad studies. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. I just came from the train station. I want you all to sit back, relax, enjoy, have a coffee, and try to open up your heart, mind, and soul as to what are some of the options available. But before that, let me present a very enthusiastic faculty member. Uh, in fact, you know, before we plan for this event, okay, this faculty member reached out to us and said that I wanted to meet up with prospective candidates and parents as, as well. So without further delay, I wanted to introduce the Dean of CHK Business School, Professor Joe Lin. He's one of the most enthusiastic, passionate professors that I've ever met. Professor Joe Lin graduated from Princeton University with a doctoral degree in economics, and his education experience friends span from Yale University, Duke University, Arizona University, and the Shanghai Jiao Tong University. It probably takes me a few minutes to go through the bio, but without further delay, let me introduce the Dean of CHK Business School, Professor Joe Lin. Professor Joe. Thank you, John. Dear students and parents, good morning to all from the home of CUHK Business School. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to the Information Day on behalf of all my colleagues. We usually organize an Information Day every October to welcome prospective students and their parents who will visit the campus and catch a glimpse of what studying in CUHK is like. However, we are holding this event online this year to protect all the participants from the threat of COVID-19 virus. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought so many disruptions to societies in our lives. It has impacted how we do business, how we work, how we live, how we meet friends, how we teach, and how we learn. Schools and the universities around the globe have responded to COVID-19 by accelerating the digital transformation of teaching and learning. Holding the Information Day online is actually keeping up with our tradition by letting you experience what the future is like when you attend a university next year, be it CUHK or some other place. Now, which university should I go and which faculty should I join? This will be a big question for you to make. Perhaps the biggest one so far in your life at this young age. I'm glad that you have joined us today since it indicates that CUHK Business School is a likely choice for you. CUHK is very proud and at the same time equally humbled that generations of young men and women and their parents have entrusted CUHK with their pursuit of college education. CUHK Business School alone has more than 40,000 alumni around the globe, and many of whom are distinguished leaders in government, business, and academic world. If you're wondering why so many have chosen CUHK Business School and how a CUHK education has helped them to become who they are today, and if you are contemplating whether you should make the same choice as they did. We are ready to assist you and guide you, starting from today. We owe Professor Andy Wong and his colleagues a big thank you, as they have worked very hard to put together today's wonderful event. It's a pity that Andy cannot come today as he suffered a minor injury last week. I will pass it to the equally dedicated Dr. John Lai, who together with the colleagues will give you a more detailed introduction of our undergraduate programs offering. I wish you all a fruitful day and look forward to meet you in the future soon. Thank you. Well, you know, thank you very much to Professor Jolene. That was some great words of inspiration. And you know, if you ask me, CHK is one of the most beautiful campus in Hong Kong. 
And having to say that, I would like to start my sharing by showing you the next slide. So if you're going to look at this slide, I'm sure probably you have seen it before, whether the glass is going to be half full or half empty. But Professor Jolene just reached out to you. This is one of the unprecedented year. The challenges probably is going to be ongoing, okay, and it facilitated the movement on digitization as well. So having to say that in a nutshell, this is going to be the new normal. So let me challenge you to think about this, okay? When you look at the glass, is it going to be half full or half empty? So can I rewind back a little bit? One of the famous management guru, Tom Peters, once said, with the only certainty, it's uncertainty. With the only security, it's insecurity. How you look at the glass, whether it's going to be half full, half empty, it really depends on you. So at CHK Business School, we are all enthusiastic in helping you to look at the perspective. Okay, Having to say that, what is most important is that in this world, there's going to be three types of people. So can I rephrase that? In the business world, there are three types of people. Now, the first type of people who's going to be waiting for opportunity. The second type of people will seize opportunity. And the last type of people is the one that is going to be creating opportunities. We're all enthusiastic here at CHK Business School in helping you to unleash the potential so that you don't be the first or even the second type of people, but in the third type of people in creating opportunities in an era where the only certainty is uncertainty, where the only security is insecurity. So again, that's the first slide. Now on the second slide, if I may bring attention to you, this is important because in coming for your business education, you'll be asking yourself, you know, upon graduation, how can I stand up among the crowds, okay, as compared to the rest of the graduates who comes from various universities. So if I may, you know, bring your attention to the slides, these are what employers are looking for in terms of a candidate. So it's leadership, ability to work along and together with each other, communication, critical thinking, adaptability, flexibility, technical skills. If you're going to look through the list, okay, it's intriguing, okay, that it doesn't confine only in the knowledge, but certain qualities, okay, that is important that makes you stand out among the crowds, which is why at CHK Business School, we're all enthusiastic in helping you to look at how are you going to create that opportunity, and second, how are we going to help you unleash the potential, okay, in terms of the qualities that employers are looking for in you. So what does CHK Business School have to offer? So let me bring your attention to the next slide. So if you're going to look at the slides, you know, we have humbly plenty to offer. We are one of the most comprehensive university. We are one of the universities that offers you the college system, just like Harry Potter. And of course, if you're going to look at this, we have diversified student profile. We have the strongest alumni network, positive learning atmosphere. And of course, we have different modalities in terms of experiential learning. Now, you could ask me that, John, you didn't mention much about university ranking. Now, I'm not saying that is not important. CHK and the CHK Business School is consistently ranked among the top universities in the world and top business school in the world. We did not emphasize that because we believe that, okay, the principles behind quality education is to focus in developing top talents like yourself and not just in university ranking. So let me go through the following slides with you as to what do CHK Business School have to offer to you in terms of helping you to unleash the potential, creating opportunities, and of course, in developing that qualities in you. So let's take a look at the first slide. We are in fact one of the most comprehensive uh, university. Uh, in fact, I always joke about this. If you can't find anything that you wanted to study at CHK Business School, probably you can't find it at any place else. So if you're going to look at the range of programs that we're going to be offering, it's very extensive from actuarial, uh, finance, and you have accounting, hotel, real estate, and of course, more generic program, we have global business studies, integrated business administration program, and of course, we have interdisciplinary programs, BBA, JD, and if you're going to look at the list, okay, quantitative uh, finance, and last but not least, we have the global econ and finance as well. So I'm not going to go through each and every one, but I wanted to challenge you after today, 
please go into the various program and see how does it fit you in helping you to achieve your career goals and orientation. So in moving on to the next slide, and our students are always concerned about this joint, and uh, I need to be pragmatic. What does it need to get into the CHK Business School? So if you're going to look at the admissions requirement and you know, helping you to get a glimpse of what is required for you to come to CHA Business School. When you look at this Chinese language, English, English language, mathematics, liberal studies, elective subjects, and you know, one and two. So these are some of the minimum requirements. So again, minimum requirements, and I always inspire students, when you want to reach out for anything, you always go for first class. Even though if you don't get first class, at least you have the business class. So you know, guys, work hard, dream big, stay positive, and I'm sure you're going to be able to achieve not just the minimum requirements and probably more than that as well. So what are some of the requirements for different programs if you're going to look at this from global business to hospitality and real estate? So these are some of the reference points for your, again, reference. And uh, again, uh, you wanted to make sure that and, uh, you, you use this as a reference and go all out, okay, in terms of, you know, enjoying the DSE process. Now, I use the word enjoying, okay, so let me hang on to that, okay, to move on to the next slide. So the admissions requirement has been spelled out on the following link. You can go in there, okay, and it will spell out to you what are some of the requirements in order for you to come to CHK Business School. So having to say that, uh, friends, okay, uh, you probably be asking yourself, John, this is going to be a challenging year. Uh, the COVID is still here and I'm preparing myself for the DSA exam. Okay, come to think of it, this is going to be the new normal. Okay, where the only certainty is uncertainty, security is uncertainty. How does this apply to you? Which is why my earlier notion is for you to dream big, stay positive, work hard, and go all out for that. Because according to Richard Branson, okay, one of my favorite entrepreneurs, okay, quote unquote, he said, life is so much more fun when you say yes rather than no. Okay, so to me, all the individuals just like you are unique individuals because okay in having me define extraordinary and our students come to me wow john that person is really extraordinary and i looked at them and said that well the definition of extraordinary it's actually ordinary people just like me and you doing extraordinary things. So how does this apply to you? Life is so much more fun when you say yes rather than no. Extraordinary, the definition is that ordinary people doing extraordinary things. So what does COHK Business School have to offer in terms of helping you to unleash your potential in developing the necessary ingredients for success? So if I may, okay, in bringing you to the following slides, okay, which probably will you know, help to inspire you to think about what are some of the you know, strategies that you wanted to develop okay, in coming to CHK Business School. Now, uh, one of the questions that we are always asked is that, you know, John, in coming to, or other faculty members, in coming to CHK Business School, how should I prepare for the interview? So one of the requirements in coming to CHK Business School is that there's going to be an interview. So student prep really hard for that, okay? It, it, I'm not saying that it's wrong, okay? But what I'm trying to say is that, okay, if you really need to prep for the interview, you prepare mentally. Okay, the questions are important, but when you come for the interview, I do not want you or we do not want you to express, okay, the question and hence the answer. We want you to express in person. Tell us who you are, what is your dream, that is more important, okay, and not only that, okay, sometimes we have surprise question. So we're trying to emulate the question just like in the industry, okay, and I wanted to charge you guys up on this, okay, be ready to expect the unexpected when there are some question out of the ordinary that's been thrown to you, okay, don't feel surprised, but you are calm and poised, look at this and say, that's a very intriguing question, in my humble opinion, and then you move on. So this is one of the tips as well. So again, back to the notion, what do CHK business 
business school have to offer to you, okay, in terms of helping you to unleash the potential. So remember the four elements that we have, diversified student profile, strong alumni network, and we also have a positive learning environment and the different modalities of experiential learning. And let me go through and zoom on to the first one, diversified student profile. So if I may bring attention to the screenshot on the diversity of student profile that we have, you know, it gave me so much pleasure, okay, not just me, other faculty members as well, to be able to work with talents okay, that they have in their own way, unique in their own way, that when they come into CHK Business School, okay, they will also reach out to the different modalities okay, in helping them to look at what are some of the attributes of success. So if I may bring your attention to the uh, slides, you know, these are some of the uh, students, okay, uh, Bosco, Samson, Alex, and if you're going to look at their profile, they not only excel in their academic studies, I'm not saying that that is not important, okay, but in, uh, in developing a diversified profile, it's not just only an academic excellence, okay, but in developing that whole person development, which is why in CHK Business School, we hope, okay, by the ways of different modalities in helping you to unleash that potential as well. So at CHK Business School and Chinese University of Hong Kong, uh, the student body is pretty diversified. We have more than 30% of the student population, okay, that comes from abroad. So uh, once again, I think this is a great opportunity for you to step out of your comfort zone and reach out to the different community okay, here at the university. Next one, of course, is the strong alumni network. Again, we don't try to boast on this, but we have one of the biggest alumni network because essentially we're one of the first business school. Okay, we have 40,000 alumni network that we have a mentorship program that help patch okay, students like yourself and alumni so that one of the best ways to learn okay, is by observing others. Okay, so learning does not need to confine in the classroom, okay, but with the mentoring system, you can learn by observing successful leaders, entrepreneurs, again, successful leaders, entrepreneurs, okay, so that you can look at that, reflect upon yourself, okay, and how can I move this forward? Now, remember I put the word quote unquote successful. Now, success is not being defined by money, power, and fame. That's really important because success is being defined by you. What do you really want it to do? What is your dream? That is important. So strong alumni network. Positive learning environment. Uh, friends, you don't have to go through the hurdles yourself. Okay, peers, support network, it's here, which is why at CHK we have a positive learning environment whereby, okay, we try to have our students not just to work in silo, okay, but in developing that abilities to work along and together with each other. If I may rephrase, work along and together with each other because this is a globalized economy, okay, in succeeding in the globalized economy, you don't work in silos, but your ability to work with others, it's really important as well, which is why in helping you to develop that positive learning environment, we have various ways that help you, okay, to look at the different aspects in terms of academic advising, student ambassador schemes, and different student activities. Having to say that, of course, okay, the four years at university, it's going to be a meaningful journey. But I would like to quote a quote by Nelson Mandela. Okay, when you come to university or when you're going through your DSE experience right now, okay, it seems impossible until it is done. Okay, then you will probably reflect back and say that, well, it's not that bad. So, which is why when you look at the beautiful quote by Nelson Mandela, it's always seemed impossible until when it is done. So how does that apply to you as well? Okay, what are some of the experiential learning activities which are available? So again, backtrack a little bit, okay, at CHA Business School in helping you to unleash your potential, okay, stand out among the crowds, thinking of creating opportunities. We have diversified student bodies, strong alumni network, positive learning environment. Last but not least, it's the infinite possibilities in experiential learning. So what is experiential learning? Okay, the definition of experiential learning is that I hear, I forget, I see, I remember, 
I do and probably I understand it forever. So the experiential activities here at the business school it meant to supplement your learning experience in creating that value so that when you graduate, your profile is going to be a global profile, meaning that you're going to be probably having exchange experience, you have internship experience, you have community service experience that helps you develop that whole person development and also global profile. So if I may bring your attention to the slides, internship, I strongly recommend that. In fact, when you think about internship, it shouldn't be confined in the home country, but it should be okay in various regional global opportunities. So I always challenge my students, when you think about internship opportunities, you should take into consideration one local internship, one regional internship, and one global internship. If you have that, I can assure you, your profile is going to be attractive. When prospective employees look at it, they say, wow, can I look at, can I meet this candidate? Okay, so in throwing back that challenge to you. Mentorship program, which I just mentioned, case compilations, it's important, and I strongly encourage you to look at case compilations. Case compilation, in fact, it's a great opportunity for you to put into practice what have you acquired. So case compilation, I, in the past, and other faculty members have the opportunity to accompany students to case completion it's an amazing experience at the end it's not just about winning okay i'm not saying that winning is not important but the learning process it's more important than just the what itself all right so last but not least study tour and exchange and at coha business school we take pride in extending various tours so that we can bring our students okay to different regions okay and looking at emerging emerging markets developing economies because the vision of CHK business school is to develop global leaders for the Asian century. So we, we wanted to take our students to different emerging markets, developing economies so that they will have first-hand experience, okay, what does it mean by looking at the country in terms of political, economic, social, technological, so that, you know, when I graduate, okay, I do understand how I'm going to put into practice what I've acquired and learned. And of course, okay, in going through all this experience, and I'm not saying that it's going to be easy, but this is what education is all about in helping you to unleash the potential. If I may bring you to the next slide, a beautiful quote, challenges are what makes life exciting and overcoming them is what makes life meaningful. So fellow friends, parents, and all, I know you're probably going through DSC, a lot of things in your mind, but let me inspire you to think of this. Okay, in going through all these challenges will make you stronger, okay, and will make your life more meaningful and will make you more agile. This is part of the experience so that when you're out there in the industry, okay, you will be more ready. And when you look at your competitors, I'm going to come back stronger and better, okay. And one last slide, okay, before I conclude, okay, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. This is one of my most favorite quotes. When I bring students out, whether it's going for outward bound or other experiential learning, when students come back to me and say that, John, it's raining, and uh, it's COVID, it, it's difficult, and I usually look at them, okay, and using the quote by Vivian Green, okay, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, it's about learning to dance in the rain. Okay, so let's all dance in the rain, despite what is going on to the external environment. It's something that we don't have control over, but it's more meaningful, okay, if we learn to dance in the rain. That's beautiful. So with that in mind, okay, uh, I definitely hope to see you at CHK Business School. And uh, may I ask you, you know, to look at the Facebook link, you know, do add us, and also one of the website for additional information we are here to help. If there's any other additional information okay, that you need, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. We are here to help you create that opportunity, unleash that potential, and here at CHK Business School, in providing that opportunities for you okay, to think about your career and life. Okay, with that in mind, okay, let me re-loop again the vision of CHK Business School. It's helping you to develop that global perspective for the Asian century. So once again, dream big, 
work hard, stay positive, and we look forward in welcoming you at CHK Business School. Thank you very much, and I wish you all the best in the coming time, okay, in understanding the programs here at CHK Business School and Chinese University of Hong Kong. Thank you very much. Stay healthy, stay fit, and be happy.